Hey fellow Fault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle with quick guide how to level up quickly. So I'm leveling up my character in order to make another build. Uh, I decided that in the meantime I will show you what I do to level up really quickly. It's simple and effective. Uh, first, you need unyielding gear because intelligence is boosting experience. It's not stated anywhere, but it works. More intelligence, more experience. It's why I'm using casual under armor, shielded version, it's plus free to intelligence, and my gear, unyielding. It doesn't really matter what type of armor it will be as long as it's unyielding. It's special bonus if you can get it with plus one intelligence. This way, this piece of unyielding is giving me plus four to my intelligence plus three from an yielding effect and plus one from extra intelligence. Uh, then most of the stuff, if you can, should be modded for stealth, as it's the best way to go, as you will need to be very low health. It doesn't really matter what your build is, you always can use stealth and an instigating rifle or instigating melee weapon, whatever suits best to your build. Apart from that, if we look on the perks, what is important, I'm using Chem Fan to increase my Chem durations, especially because I will be using Berry Mentats almost all the time when leveling up. It's increased the duration by 100%, what makes Berry Mentats last for 10 minutes. Another important perk, in luck, Class Freak. Class Freak reduces negative effects, almost everyone is using Marsupial, and Marsupial is reducing your intelligence. You don't want your intelligence to be reduced, then you need a Class Freak from leveling up. Doesn't matter what your build is, those two perks are quite important to use. Chemfant and Class Freak. Next, when we take a look on the mutations, you can have whatever mutations you want, but two of them are very important. Adrenal reaction, because you want to kill enemies really quickly. It will give you plus 50% damage when your HP is at 20% or below. Next, you want Egghead, because it will boost your intelligence. Plus 6, and with Class Freak, negative effects are minimal. Just minus 1 strength, minus 1 endurance. Even if you are running melee build, this 1 strength will be not a problem, because you are using unyielding build unyielding armor anyway to get yourself intelligence and strength is just a bonus. Next you should be using some of the consumables like berry mentats. You can farm them from ghouls or just buy from player vending. There is one important consumable, cranberry relish, that gives you plus 10% experience. I will quickly show you how to get it. You maybe you already know about it but I will try to be Really quick with that. From Arnhold Homestead, you need some cranberries. Oh, it's very important before you go, start running for your ingredients, put on green thumb. From here, just run down the hill into the farm. And here you have a lot of cranberries. It's easily visible for me because I have grass disabled. I have another video that explains how to do it, how to change all the settings if you need. This way I can easily gather a lot of those cranberries. For snap nails, just go to Black Mountain Ordnance and then go towards the river. You will find a couple of them growing nearby, like in here. Couple snap tails and a little bit farther down the river more snap tails. But we use them to craft sugar. Another very important ingredient is gourd. The best way to get it is just plant it in your camp. If you don't have it yet planted in your camp, you can either go in here to Hornwright Summer Villa, and there is at least one in the greenhouse here, or just visit a couple other players' camps and borrow some gourds. If 
before you go into crafting, make sure that your super duper is equipped. Then go for food or plants, scroll down for sugar, craft sugar first, just snap the reed and wood, easy to get. And they're prepared. Need to find cranberry relish, and this is what you need. It's plus ten percent bonus XP. As you can see, as you can see, ingredients. You just need boiled water, cranberries, gourd, sugar, and wood. It's not not hard to do, as you can see. Last boost that you want to use is Broiled Scorch Beast Brain. You can get it by killing Scorch Beast. Just do and run alongside a couple fissure sites, kill the Scorch Beast in there if you can, and then boil the brains. Some of them should drop a brain. If you don't feel like going after Scorch Beast, maybe you are on the low level character, then just ignore this point. Next, what I like to do in order to farm experience is basically farm super mutants. West Tech is a perfect place. On the adventure server, it can be quite busy sometimes, but there is a couple more places where you can go. Huntersville, there's a bunch of super mutants in there. Uh, you can find super mutants in National Isolated Radio Array as well. You can find super mutants in the General Steakhouse. Always couple bunch of them in there. Uh, let's go to Westek and I will show you how much experience you are getting from uh, every single kill. Before you start, don't forget to take a short nap. It's just free 5% experience bonus. Then before you start, just go into your A. Eat your broad scorcher's brain if you, if you have one. Eat your cranberry relish and take a berry mentats. Those are the most effective boosts, simple to get. I usually don't bother with all the smaller ones. As you can see, like every super mutant is giving me like 350 experience. It's really good from just a one kill. And you can really go really fast. This is a national array. As you can see, already we have some super mutants outside. You can loot them as well and sell it, scrap this stuff if you need caps or steel. You go inside here there is like quite a decent amount of super mutants basically what I found is the best way just do the round al alongside all the locations go to Huntersville visit West Tech visit National Isolated Radio Array and then visit the General Steakhouse after that just jump server to get all the super mutants back and Repeat until you have as many levels as you need, and that's all you need to do in order to level up really quickly. It's not the guide if you are just starting the game, it's rather for mid to high level players, where the leveling is already slowing down by a lot, and this way you can keep progressing, keep doing your respec when you need, keep unlocking more perks. That's it for this video, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one.